Well, hello everybody. It's Paul. Welcome to my desktop. I just want to do a quick tutorial to show you if you're like on YouTube and you want to have thumbnails with some crazy like text on them or little pictures on them. This is how I do it. And of course it's free. So what I use is GIMP. You can go online and download it for free. It's open source. It's kind of like a Photoshop light. It does a lot more than just putting crazy text on. But crazy text is uh, what I use it for mainly the most. So first off, say if you're putting it on a YouTube video, you need to start with uh, a snapshot that you've taken. It could be from the video. Of course, it could be from something else. So I will open that. You'll find your pictures. Uh, wherever you put them, like I put this onto the desktop, so that's where I look for it. Okay, so there is going to be my background picture. And now I'm going to put another picture on it. For say, example, branding, I put a little thing to the left, and I'm also going to put some text on there. So you may not want to do a second picture, but if you do, this is how you do it. You're going hit file and instead of open like we usually do we're going to hit open as layers right there then you all want to find your second picture and this is my second picture that I usually use now I'm going to go over to the tools here and use the four pointed arrow thing the move tool and that allows you to just drop and position it anywhere you want. And this is, I usually just tuck it over here for a bit of branding. So people, you know, if they're seeing all their videos, they kind of recognize that. So that is how you do that. So now, if we want to do some text, say we'll click on the big A. And it will allow us to open the text box, and then we got to figure out what we want to say. Here's the cool things you can have a lot of different, uh, like if you're just using paint, it's a lot more difficult to um, open multiple text windows, I found. So like, for example, we'll just open one here. And, you know, you can go halfway across, all the way across, wherever you want it. So we'll do something like that, and we'll just start typing. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, it always starts off with black, and always starts off like at 18, which is really small. But anyhow, so we'll just start adding some text, and we'll say, Ain't he a handsome bugger? Right, so it types it real small there. So what we'll do is highlight it, and then we can change it to our size we want. So maybe we'll put it at um, 50. See what that looks like, and then you hit type 50 there, hit enter, and it changes whatever's been highlighted. So maybe we want to go all the way across. We could say make it a little bit bigger, say 60. Did it and now it makes it a little bit bigger. Now, say we don't want um, that black color, so we can go in here and choose any color of the rainbow, more or less. And let's say we choose green here, and now it'll make that green. So, then to see what you've got, you can click away from it. Now, we don't need all this other room here, so say if I want to put something else here, I will shrink that down somewhat. And that's what it looks like. Now you can always go back, say like, okay, that looks all right, but now we want to um, maybe bold it. Well, if we bold it, it's going to take up too much room, but that's okay. So that's bolded. So then we're just going to back it down to say 50 maybe. And now it fits. So you get the point. Ain't he a handsome bugger? And then, of course, you you know you can um, move this uh, this box anywhere else if you wanted to. That's easy. Okay. So now let's say we want to add something else. 
And that's where it gets tricky with paint. You can't really do uh, layers or whatever. So here we'll open another text box and we'll put it right here. And um, for this, we're just going to say, wow, exclamations. I'll add a zero here. Make it. And let's change the color. Oh, we will pull it. Yeah. And add a funky color. All right. Now that's pretty good. This is how you don't just hit save like you do like a regular photo or something. I'll show you this. To um, say save it to where you can use it, what you want to do is come down here to export. Click on it. And let's say we're going to name it, um, we'll say bugger snap. Or GIMP, yeah, bug or GIMP. And we'll hit export down here. And it always comes up with the nerve box. You hit export again. And it does it. <coughs> and we can minimize everything. <coughs> and we should be able to see it here. And there it is. So. You know, you can get really fancy with it. You can do a lot of other stuff with it, but that gives you a basic idea of what I do with mine. And then just go to your YouTube and hit a upload custom thumbnail, and you are done. Thanks so much for your time and watching. We'll see you.